Hi everybody, it is March 29, 2018. I'm going to read this article written by John Rappaport, Internet of Things Formula for a Global Trance. Now, I think a lot of you know what the Internet of Things 5G world is going to bring. It's going to bring an awful lot of illness, for one thing, an awful lot of physical pain to a lot of people who are sensitive to the frequencies, but it's also going to bring a greater trance over the world's people. We are already living surrounded by people who, yeah, Unfortunately, they are kind of mm, zombies or uh, they're robots. They, uh, well, you know, you know, okay, uh, I won't go there. The willfully ignorant, so self-absorbed that they have actually put themselves into a trance, not living a real life. But with these microwave frequencies that we have been saturated in for now, what, a decade? The saturation only becoming more and more intense. This 5G rollout has, it, it will, it truly will bring about a population so controlled that you will not be able to get through. You, you forget about having any kind of human interaction. I, we see that just basic human interaction has, has really kind of traveled the low road and now we're in the pit. Well, start digging that pit deeper. Before I do read this, I just want to tell you about John Rappaport's site, nomorefakenews.com. If you don't know it, click on the link below. Uh, you might want to bookmark this site because he has a lot of articles, information that one really needs to understand where we're going. And I just like the way John thinks and writes. He writes very simply. Okay, the Internet of Things world that is really coming to us at a theater near you really soon. It will make people passive. They are already passive, so dig that passivity deeper and it will put them into a trance. Well, they're already in a trance, but okay, just, uh, I don't know. Trance on steroids. <clears throat> IT of Things is the absurd plan now rolling out to connect every conceivable device to the internet worldwide. Worldwide. I don't know if you see videos posted by others living in other Western nations in particular, but 5G rolled out in Scotland, Ireland, Australia, England, just like smart meters, it is the worldwide deployment, deployment, they use military terms for the rollout of this technology, which really should beg questions in everybody's mind. Hmm, deployment, military terms, what's going on here? Well, this is military technology and 5G, the millimeter wave, is what our military has been using for a long time. It creates Fabulous surveillance, like high definition, resolution of everything that you have on your person. So as you're walking around in this 5G world, those millimeter waves going right through everything that you carry. If you carry a purse, if you par carry a briefcase, uh, it will be able to discern everything that you have in your pockets, on your, on your body, and everything that you're carrying. No joke. And they will be able to access that, access that information in real time. So concealed carry, well, even if you're living in an, an area where there's still that concealed carry law, they will know if you are carrying a gun, 
even if it's plastic, even a plastic gun. That's how fabulous that millimeter wave is. And it is absolutely one of the reasons why they are rolling it out. Because they do want to know everything about everyone. Confro control freaks. These people are control freaks. They're really... Have you had someone in your life that is a control freak? Okay. Um, they're a little hard to deal with. Because they don't want you to have your freedom, you to have your individuality. You can take your life examples, your individual experiences, and then broaden them out. Because much of what we live individually our life experiences with the people in our lives, if you've had narcissists in your life, if you've had really sick people in your life, then you can think about that individual experience. And yes, you can. Much of our individual experiences parallel what is going on with us collectively. So, worldwide, this means life will become automatic for a large chunk of the population in due time. Your car will drive you, but eventually you won't even have a car. But your car will drive you, your fridge will order new food items, your heat and air conditioning will operate beyond your control, your toaster will decide how brown the bread will be, your whole home will run on prescribed algorithms, deciding how much energy you can use and when because you will be highly regulated. Hell, we've got climate change going on. And, well, we have heard throughout the years the voice getting louder and louder. We need to make fundamental changes. The biodiversity, Earth, everything, it's dying. We have to rapidly change our way of life. And because, well, our controllers are quote-unquote rulers, those quote-unquote leaders that so many still applaud. They don't think you're smart enough. So they're going to control all of your energy coming into your homes. You think I'm kidding? Well, if you think I'm kidding, it just means you need to do more research into this Agenda 2030 plan of the United Nations. But yes, you will become a spectator in your own life. Passivity is hypnosis. Why would you care about what's happening beyond your bubble? As long as functions are functioning, all is well. Of course, as you enter a decline in health, owing to the introduction of wireless, wireless 5G, the harmful technology necessary to implement Internet of Things. And as your home devices spy on you and register your symptoms, there will be mandatory doctor's visits. But don't worry, you won't have to leave your house. The diagnosis will occur on a screen in your hand and the toxic medicine will arrive at your door. And these drugs they will make you even more passive. No, all this won't happen tomorrow, but up the line, that is the plan. And the picture, Brave New World, 1984, combine them and then put them on steroids. Ambition, achievement, the will to succeed, these former qualities will fade into extinction. No longer required. So when you see universities like the University of Michigan, who wants to get rid of English and history <laughs> and 11 other courses, 11 other fields of study. All right. Uh, do I have to bring that article up? I guess I should.
Well, here it is, guys. University of Wisconsin campus proposes elimination of majors such as English and history. The University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point is... You don't need to hear that again. Yes, history. Get rid of history. You don't need history. Who needs history? Who needs to understand their past? <laughs> wow. I mean, just this headline alone shows you the deliberate destruction of the human race. If you don't know your past, you can't understand your present, and you have no idea where you are going in the future. But when you are a being that is thoroughly controlled, you don't need any of that. Yes, it's all going by the wayside. All of that they existed merely to bring us to the point where technology would take over. And if you think the present education system is grossly inadequate, imagine what it will look like when Internet of Things homes proliferate. If you can sit back and let your life run on automatic, why would you need to learn anything? Get rid of English. Get rid of history. At one time, my cardinal skill was flipping a switch that would automate all devices in my apartment. But now, I don't have to do that. The apartment is always on. I can't turn it off. Who cares? Huge numbers of people won't have Internet of Things homes, the IoT homes. The promise will go unfulfilled. This fact will set up a new class system. So all of those futuristic um, TV series and movies where we see a real kind of slave-like struggling underclass that live in shacks, and then you see a huge wall, and beyond that wall is where all of the wonderful people live. And they live so beautifully and comfortably. That's what we are heading into. This fact will set up a new class system, but with enhanced automatic security systems and the backing of state force, the fortunate ones will be protected in formidable fashion. Hypnosis works by freeing a person from making choices. He sits there when he is suitably passive, he receives suggestions. In the case of IoT, those suggestions will be provided by his artificial intelligence environment. I'm here. I serve you. I give you what you need. I decide what you need. I'm your guide to happiness. <gasps> Ooh, what a world! By doing less and less, you get more and more. If you say, well, this is already happening, you're right, but with the Internet of Things, the difference will be extraordinary. On a broad scale, the basics of hypnosis, trance plus suggestions, will revolutionize human relationships. Interactions will occur at much lower levels of energy. The content of future communication will make today's Facebook posts seem like Conversations among university scholars. Hey, but it's all good, right? It's all good. Guys, you know, I have for a very long time now, months, wanted to start a What the F series. So, I had a a file, my bookmark file, what the F, you know, capital letters, WTF. And I just, I, I've got a lot under WTF. I've got a whole lot under WTF. That shows us not only how incredibly dumbed down has the world's people become, but where we're going. 
And it is not, it is not that kumbaya world that the United Nations has been telling us it is. It's a very dark, evil world. And yeah, adults, you guys who have kids, do you really want to leave them a very dark, evil world? Think about what happens if your kids one day come to you and say, you had so much. How could you leave this to us? What are you going to say, guys? What are you going to say? What's your answer going to be?